From having no toenails at all, to being personally connected with another British star, Andy Murray, here are some dark secrets about Emma Raducanu. Let's start with the gruesome truth about her feet. Because, as it turns out, the 20-year-old tennis prodigy has just revealed a bizarre and downright horrifying secret that's left everyone in shock. The young British superstar has confessed that she doesn't actually have any toenails. Apparently, the intense footwork required for her incredible performance on the court has completely destroyed her poor little tootsies, leaving them a battered mess. And it's not just a recent development either. This brave young athlete has been battling this bizarre ailment for years now, with her feet still struggling to recover from the trauma of her previous battles on the unforgiving surfaces of the tennis world. Jeez. In fact, Raducanu's feet are so battle-scarred from her previous tennis matches that they've become a talking point in the Team Britain locker room. Apparently, her toes have been through so much that they've now got a mind of their own and can remember the pain and trauma of every match she's played. Well, at least that's what her teammates like to say. And it's not just her teammates who are feeling the shockwaves of this revelation. Even her own captain, Anne Kyothavong, couldn't help but make a joke about it. I mean, the sight of Emma's toeless feet left the whole team feeling a bit scarred when they geared up for the Billie Jean King Cup campaign in April of 2022. Although despite the suffering she's endured, Emma has refused to let the setback slow her down, continuing to push herself to new heights and impressing fans and rivals alike with her incredible talent and determination. But that's not all. There's another secret that's pretty dark, quite literally. She recently talked about her secret to success, and it's not what you think. Now, when we think of elite athletes like Emma, the first thought that comes to our mind regarding their success is that maybe they train super hard or have rigorous workout routines. That's not the case with Emma at all, though, because according to the superstar herself, the key to her success isn't just her impressive training regime or natural talent. It's actually all down to her love of dark chocolate. Yes, you heard that right. This British sensation just can't resist indulging in a small square of rich, velvety dark chocolate every single day. The 20-year-old recently admitted that she's not a fan of alcohol and would much rather indulge in some delicious dark chocolate after a hard-fought win. In fact, her love for the sweet treat is so strong that she has even revealed her favorite combination, dark chocolate and peanut butter. But don't go thinking that Emma's just a slave to her sweet tooth. Oh no, she's well aware of the dangers of overindulging and is careful to keep her chocolate consumption in check. After all, you don't become a world-class athlete by scarfing down a whole box of chocolates every day. And it looks like all the dark chocolate is finally paying off. I mean, did you catch her net worth? This tennis superstar burst onto the scene in 2021, and she's been making waves ever since. Not only did she become the first British female tennis player to win the Wimbledon Championship in over 40 years, but she also did it with only one Grand Slam under her belt. Talk about natural talent. Since then, she's become a bona fide celebrity, with fans all over the world clamoring to get a glimpse of her in action. Furthermore, with a total prize pool of $3.5 million and sponsorship deals with big names like Nike, Wilson, Tiffany & Co, Dior, Vodafone, and Porsche, it's no wonder she's become such a hot commodity. As a matter of fact, she's now signed with the prestigious sports agency IMG, who are sure to help her take her career to the next level. But that's not all. Emma's star power has skyrocketed even further since winning the US Open. She's now estimated to have a net worth of a whopping $7 million, making her one of the most successful and influential young athletes in the world today. But all the fame and power can often be a huge burden for these young stars. And the incredible success that Emma Raducanu's achieved has unfortunately come with a dark side too. After all, she was once stalked in her own home. Yep, in a disturbing turn of events, the tennis sensation was stalked at her home by Amrit Mager, a Nepali man. 
The incident occurred after Raducanu's stunning victory at the US Open, and Mager was eventually handed a five-year restraining order in February of 2022. Mager, a former delivery driver, was also sentenced to 18 months of community service, which included 200 hours of unpaid work. And he was required to adhere to an eight-week curfew between 9 p.m. and 6 a.m. What's more, while the 20-year-old was obviously scarred by the event, she still managed to come out of it strong. With that said, even though the British star might come off as super bold and powerful, you'd be surprised to know that she was super shy growing up. Believe it or not, this confident and poised young athlete was once a shy little girl who barely spoke a word. But all that changed when she discovered the sport of tennis. The challenge of having to be bold and fearless on the court taught her to tap into her inner strength and be more outgoing. Oh, and apparently, Raducanu was just four years old when she first picked up a racket and started hitting balls with her father. But it wasn't long before she caught the eye of a passing tennis coach, who turned out to be Richard Wicello, practice partner of tennis legend Bjorn Borg. And of course, it didn't take long for him to recognize her exceptional talent and potential. Now, after years of dedication and hard work, Raducanu has achieved one of the biggest victories of her career, winning the US Open Championship. And in a recent interview with the LTA, she revealed that if she wasn't a tennis player, she'd like to be a lawyer. It seems that all that arguing and talking back, she avoided it as a shy youngster, but now it has finally started to catch up to her. And if you look at her past hobbies, you would have never guessed that she used to be shy. Did you know she was obsessed with motocross? Apparently, if Emma Raducanu's tennis career doesn't pan out, she has another sport to fall back on. In a recent interview with the Sunday Times, the tennis star revealed that she had a brief stint in motocross before pursuing tennis. Raducanu shared that her parents encouraged her to try different sports, which led to her trying her hand at go-karting at a bus garage in Streatham and motocross in a forest when she was just nine years old. What's more, even though her motocross days are now behind her, she still likes to reminisce by posting throwback photos of her baby Kawa on Instagram. So who knows, we might see Raducanu on two wheels in the future. Plus, her love for sports goes beyond tennis and motorsports. She is a multi-talented athlete with a bunch of interests that range from horse riding and tap dancing to golf, skiing, basketball, and football. Stunned? Well, that isn't all. She's equally fascinated with racing. Who knew that the Wimbledon champ, Emma Raducanu, is not just a tennis star, but also a speed demon? That's right, folks. Raducanu has a need for speed that goes beyond the tennis court. She's a massive fan of Formula One racing and even watched a race from the comfort of her own room at Wimbledon. When it comes to F1, Emma draws inspiration from the driver's lightning-fast reactions and instincts. She believes that as a tennis player, they can learn a lot from the way the drivers see everything in a split second, because the speeds they're going at are out of this world. Plus, according to her, the intensity of focus in F1 is similar to tennis. But there's one crucial difference. If you make a mistake in F1, you're going straight into a wall. Talk about high stakes. Tennis may be a lot more luxurious, as Emma puts it, but we have to admit, there's nothing quite like the adrenaline rush of Formula One racing. In fact, experts have even pointed out that the things she learns from F1 can be seen in her play style. Speaking of being influenced, though, did you know Emma has personal connections with another GOAT British star? I mean, if you're a British sports fan, you might be feeling a tinge of envy upon learning about Emma Raducanu's connection to one of the country's most beloved tennis players, Andy Murray. But hold on to your hats, because this connection is even closer than you might expect. Nigel Sears, Murray's father-in-law, used to be Raducanu's personal trainer. That's right, the man who helped shape Murray's success on the court was also a guiding force behind Raducanu's impressive rise in the tennis world. And when Sears worked with Raducanu off and on for three years, they had quite a spectacular time together. So, from being personally connected with another British star, 
to having no toenails at all, those were some dark secrets about Emma Raducanu.